When it comes to backpacks, messenger bags, and other carrying containers for your Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and other TCGs, we players have often had to be content with transport not designed with our needs in mind. Dump your deck boxes in an average backpack, leaving them loose to tumble and jumble and afford questionable if any real protection during transport? Well, those days may be at an end. This video will review the Made for TCG Players transport options offered by Pirate Labs, specifically the black card carrying messenger bag, the black card carrying backpack, and the extra large card case. But are these items worth it for players to buy, or do they lack any real solution for our specific needs? Let's take a look. Let's begin with the black card carrying messenger bag by Pirate Labs. The messenger bag was designed to protect and transport deck boxes for Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! collectible cards. The interior is fully adjustable for your deck boxes, but overall it can hold 18 120 card deck boxes or 25 90 card deck boxes. This will of course vary depending on how big your deck boxes are and which ones you include. Because of course this is fully customizable and you can fit everything from the Ultra Pro Tower to the Ultimate Guard giant size dual flipping tray. If your question is, does it hold my deck box? The answer is almost certainly yes. The bag's padded and protected interior features two removable Velcro dividers that run the length of the backpack and four smaller horizontal dividers to secure deck boxes, as well as make your bag infinitely customizable. As I said, these adjustable dividers allow the bag to accommodate any size deck box. A Velcro loop within the inner compartment secures a rolled playmat, or you can use this for additional boxes or storage needs. Again, configure however you like. The two larger vertical dividers are also removable and also fully adjustable. All of these Velcro dividers, as well as the front and bag of the interior, are extra padded. There's protective cushioning on all sides for your deck boxes. The exterior is made of tough, durable, water-resistant fabrics. Super heavy-duty polyester fabrics reinforced with thick coroplast walls to keep out the elements, and also provide a sleek, elegant look. The messenger bag features self-healing nylon zippers with custom-designed pulls as well as all-metal hardware. rubber grip handles, and an adjustable padded shoulder strap. One side has an elastic pocket that can hold a water bottle or maybe even an extra playmat if you like, as well as a zippered pocket on the other side. The back of the messenger bag has a rear zippered compartment that can hold a nine pocket card binder, or maybe just your laptop or tablet. A zippered compartment on the front of the bag organizes pens, notepads, dice, and other accessories, and mirrors an interior flap for storage as well. Now, on the flip side, Pirate Labs also offers a black card carrying backpack, and it pretty much has the same features, only now in backpack form. The Pirate Lab backpack is something we in the TCG community have wanted for a long time. A backpack designed with our gaming needs in mind. The black card carrying backpack stores and organizes with both style and ease. Just like with the messenger bag, the backpack was designed to protect and transport all your deck boxes, and can 
hold up to 1,820 card deck boxes or 25 90 card deck boxes. But again, this is fully customizable, exactly like the Messenger bag. So you can adjust to fit larger, fatter deck boxes if you need to. And just like the messenger bag, nearly every aspect of the interior is customizable. If you've got larger deck boxes, you can adjust even the longer side dividers. If you've got smaller deck boxes, say for a Yu-Gi-Oh player, you can adjust them as well. You can put as many or as few deck boxes in here as you need, or even just take all the dividers out and use it as a regular backpack. This is a gamer accessory designed with gamer needs in mind. I love how fully customizable this is. And as with the messenger bag, the backpack features water resistant fabric, the self healing zippers, elastic side pockets, a lot of storage options here. Just like with the messenger bag, the back compartment unzips to store anything from your nine pocket trade folder to a laptop or tablet. And just like with the messenger bag, this has got thick protective padding on all sides for your deck boxes, as well as the folder. Heck, even the fact that you can choose from a backpack or the messenger bag is a form of that ultimate customization. I mean, for someone such as myself who tends to dress formally and wear a uh, suit and a tie, well, you know, I'm going to want to take the backpack with me, obviously. Whereas if you dress casually in t-shirt and jeans, you're riding your bike around, you're just running around from place to place, you're going to want to get this formal, elegant messenger bag. Yeah, that's right. Now the backpack can actually store a lot of play mats, whether you use them on the interior where it has that nice Velcro strap for holding them secure or <laughs> along each side here, we have the capacity to hold not one, but two play mats. And before you talk about, well, what about them falling out? Check this action out. Adjustable, tightenable clips to hold them secure. Now, does this mean that there is no possibility of them falling out? No, of course not. They are on the outside, not the inside. However, holds them pretty secure. These products are strong, secure, and durable. This is the sort of thing that I am not nervous about throwing in the trunk of my car for something heavy to fall on or taking the messenger bag and putting it in an overhead compartment while traveling and having someone shove their suitcase on top. I can literally, here it is. This has got, by the way, and look, you saw me shaking it. These things aren't coming undone. This is full. These are my actual decks, my actual collection, and I feel safe. literally sitting on it. And I'm not a small guy. The back of the backpack also has a compartment, of course, for your trade folder. This will hold up to a nine pocket trade folder. I cannot tell you how strong and secure this backpack and the messenger bag are for protecting your deck boxes, for protecting your collection. These are the most innovative items I've seen all year. Forget trying to make a camera bag work for your deck boxes. This likely holds more and with better protection. And again, it can all be personalized and customized to your needs, right down to the choice of, do you want a messenger bag or a backpack? The backpack costs $119 and the messenger bag 99 US. And both of these are not just an A, but an A+. These are indeed the best new products of the year, and I cannot recommend them enough. 
If you're looking to purchase either of these items and your local game store does not carry them, check the description of this video for a link for ordering information. Pirate Labs ships worldwide. Also from Pirate Labs is the extra large card case. This is the largest case that the company offers, and it holds not one, but two Pirate Lab card trays. The card trays, you'll remember from my previous review on them, are a solid A in quality storage, and they continue to be refined with more customizable and comfortable options for your various deck boxes. Each side of the case features a large zippered pocket perfect for storing pens, dice, notepads, and other small accessories. I find it a little awkward that these only halfway unzip, and not directly from top to bottom, but rather half the top, half the bottom. It's an odd means of access. The rest of the exterior has the same water-resistant fabric and self-healing zippers that Pirate Lab offers in its other products. Unfortunately, the side compartment won't quite fit a nine-card folder. I believe this may have been made with miniatures in mind for their miniature storage tray options. Tough plastic feet and a padded shoulder strap do indeed make this overall a durable exterior, and yet, with two full trays of deck boxes and cards, I found it to be extremely heavy. So much so that when it was filled up, it actually buckled under its own weight. Well, I found myself wondering just what situation I'd be in where I needed to move this many decks. I do feel confident there are going to be some players out there who have those needs. And for them, this is an A-, minus. while the trays themselves remain as ever a solid A. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. If you'd like to see how these products compare to all the others I've reviewed, or if you'd like to just buy a Talarian Community College t-shirt, play mat, coffee mug, or dice bag, head on over to www.talariancommunitycollege.com today. And this video has been brought to you in part by a sponsorship from Card Kingdom, as well as the Patreon support of viewers like you. So thank you.